Okay, y'all. So, my hair is dry. I'm standing up right now. I want to be real close because I want y'all to really see what's happening right now. But my hair is dry. As you can see, the top is dry. It basically all just freezes. When you sit under a hooded dryer, it just freezes everything to be exactly the way that you did it. That's why I say, honey, if it's ugly wet, it's going to be ugly dry. Period. Okay, so just keep that in mind. But as you can see, it froze everything. I mean, it shrunk up a lot, but my hair is about 90% dry. As you can see, once I lift that up, we got some wetness right up in there. That's okay, you guys. What you want to do now is we are going to take our dryer and diffuse. You want to diffuse a little bit because you don't want to just go straight into touching your hair if you feel like there is too, too, too wet. You know what I'm saying? And I've already sat on a dryer for an hour. That's the maximum you need to be sitting under there. Don't be sitting under there too much longer because no matter how long you sit under there, that right there will still be wet, especially if you got thick hair. So an hour max, and then shout you gotta chuck your deuces, okay? And if I'm talking fast and I'm hype or something, girl, I've been drinking my pre-workout, and I'm feeling a little wired right now. I feel very wired. Now, the dryer of my choice, of course, is a Dyson. But if you ain't got Dyson money, honey, there are other options. I have used, literally this past weekend, I used a hair dryer from honey i don't probably the very first hair dryer that ever came out okay i used it to stretch out my aunt's hair and it was perfectly fine but that dryer don't come with diffusers or nothing like that so anywho i'm gonna go ahead and diffuse first and i'm basically just gonna put it at my roots and allow these teeth right here to kind of like dig in there to put the air and heat directly where I need it. You don't want to do it all over your head or anything like that because it's not needed. That part is already dry, which is what you want. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put it on the lowest heat setting and the lowest airflow and just go ahead and do my roots. Somebody gotta step to the plate. Uh -huh. My hero academia, the power to be great is inside us. Oh, yeah, you know. Yeah. Keep a clear mind through the anguish. Uh -huh. So once you have it dry enough to the point where you can actually part your hair, go ahead and section off your hair into four to six sections, and then we're gonna get into stretching the hair. Alright, y'all. So my hair is still a little damp. So I'm just gonna be very, very careful. I'm gonna really just take your time separating that, clip this up and out the way. Boom, just like that, okay? Then you wanna take all of your hair down here and then pull the ends out. Not too, not too bad, not, don't, be, don't be doing all that, friend. Don't you do it. Just a little bit, okay? Just a boop, boop, boop. All right, just to get your roots to look like this, as smooth as you can get them. So the goal is to get this hair right here super smooth to the point where there's only some waves there. It may be still wet, but that's gonna help you mold it, okay? Then you wanna take a nozzle attachment like this. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. You do not want the airflow to be high. The heat can be high, but the airflow needs to be low. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. The airflow is low, it's on one, but my heat is on two. So I'm gonna go ahead and just right up in there, apply heat. And you really just wanna apply the heat at your roots. None of this needs to be touched, only the roots. All right, y'all, and that is it right there. This is a nice dry section. It's completely dry now. It's stretched, and you can still see my definition at the bottom. You just wanna go throughout your entire hair doing the exact same method over and over and over. That's not completely dry, so I'm gonna go back in, but make sure it's dry before you move on to the next section. completely dry I don't want to 
pull on it anymore so I just let it go and then I just kind of free blow it the only reason I free blow it is so that I can make sure that it's a lot more flowier and some of these kind of like separate as you can see you can go ahead and like remove them it's a lot easier now that you have like your roots stretched out and it makes it nice and fluffy and airy and all that good stuff. So just keep doing this all throughout your entire head. Also, I do want to mention before you clip this part down, I do like to go ahead and add some heat up here because it's wet on this side. And when you bring it down, it's going to take that moisture from up here, down here, causing that to be wet again, which causes frizz. So you want to make sure you dry that part too before you move it down to stretch it. Does that make sense? We're gonna do it right now if it doesn't. Dry like that. Going up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit more hair, being very careful because this hair is wet. When you're dealing with damp hair after you done did all this, Take your time, because if you rush it, it's going to be frizzy in a mug, okay? Then you want to pull on it, and let's dry. And I have had a lot of people ask me, does all of this heat cause heat damage? I mean, no. If you think I have heat damage, then, honey, maybe so. But if you don't, I've been doing this for years now, every single wash day. This is exactly what I do every single wash day. This is it. I really think the gel from Wash and Goes and like the products, I feel like it's a barrier between a lot of heat. So it's like a bunch of heat protected. I don't know. It just never really phases when I do my Wash and Goes, you know? Okay, y'all. So I am on the last section. I haven't done this section right here. This side's already done, already blown out. It's still a little wet right here, though. I think I put a lot of product in the front. I know I put a lot of product in the front. If you have a looser texture in the front of your hair, try not to put as much product up there because it can't take that much product. I am going to go ahead and dry this side, but I do have to diffuse it first. So I'm going to put my diffuser on and go ahead. Alright, so that feels pretty dry right there. So now, all you want to do is, like I said, part it down. Because you have to, because look at that. Look at that wetness. It just be hiding, friend. It be hiding in there. So I got my little part down here. It's just not completely dry. So I'm going to go ahead and dry that root. So you want to just hold it, gather all the hair together, pinch it basically wherever you feel like it's not that wet anymore, and then pull it down. Can y'all see how the Dyson is not disturbing my hair at all? If this was a regular blow dryer, you'll see my hair just like but you can't see that because this is just like I'm telling y'all I don't hype this for no reason because they ain't never paid me and I still talk about it because I don't have a choice because it's that good okay <laughs> however if you want to go to their page and start tagging me and stuff I'm all for that okay I think I've done my duty I think I've talked about it enough to get a sponsorship what y'all think I think I have Okay, I think I have. And right now I'm just like drying it completely just to make sure this is where you want to continue to dry it, fluff it, pull things apart that you want to be pulled apart, all that good stuff. But as you can see, <laughs> okay, yeah, I can make some ugly faces. But anyway, girl, I'm loving this, okay? Day one hair looks 
amazing and I just walked you guys through everything and I'm also going to include you guys in how I wrap my hair at night and all that good stuff too